Hi everyone, my name is May, and today I'm going to show you how to beat Endless Trial uh, with no Gaius. Uh, EX++, you can see the score I got here. I just got this about 10 minutes ago, and now I'm filming. This actually and it says number 14 right there, but got me to number 6 the current score. This is the highest score I've gotten, and it is no Gaius. Here's the team. Um, I know you could be intimidated by the <laughs> everybody being R6, but I think the only one that really matters is Heng Yue. That one might fluctuate your score. Everything else um, with the current challenge that's going on shouldn't fluctuate your score too, too much. Um, this one, she gives an extra healing boost at the end. That one might fluctuate your score. But if you're here, you haven't gotten the score you wanted and that's why you're watching it. Um, so hopefully, I can't test it with without having R6 hang away but i can show you that um you can get a high score and yeah so that's what we're going to go into i'm going to show these espers real quick so you can see their stats you can pause the video if you'd like to oops all righty and here we go so no gaius no embla no Legendary espers other than Sally, which most people should have. I feel like is way more viable than everybody having Gaius. Quake before the dragon. So let me kind of explain a little bit more of the team for those of you who are still watching. Basically, Chow Yin, um, he is on the team because he has such a high HP. This could technically be any flow esper that's a fighter um, or like a DPS that has high HP on your team. Mine is just built and has about 26,000 HP. It's a weird build, but um, that's just what I had from using him before doing something. So that's the only reason why he's on the team. It could technically be anybody else that has a high HP, it's a DPS. Um, you can even use another support there if you really wanted to. Um, Chloe is there, and Chloe might be one of the more useful getting to uh, EX area the fastest. Uh, Meredith is there because even though she's a support, she can hit really, really hard with her uh, third ability. Like for me, it does 31,000 every time. You might see it, you're gonna see it next time, I think. So hitting for 31,000 each time is big damage for support like that, 31,338. That's insane amount of damage for support. Yours is gonna differ. Uh, it all depends on what her HP stat is. Um, Hang your ways there just to dispel. She also gives a lot of healing too, which is much needed in the future. And Sally is there because um, it was Full Harvest or Sweet Harvest. I forgot the name of her third ability. Ode to Joy. I don't know what I was talking about. There we go. Ode to Joy dispels, and uh, every time somebody takes a turn, plus um, her other ability, or number two ability, uh, dispels everybody's buffs all at once. So uh, if you don't have Sally or Hang Yue, then you're going to need to have dispellers no matter what it's the only way you're going to be able to do this uh, i explained this in my last video but how embla her ability works is anytime it's placed on somebody it gets canceled out when like basically it explodes when it gets canceled out so if you dispel it it explodes if it explodes at eight it's going to do a ton more damage than it will at one um and if it explodes at eight then you're going to deal damage to multiple espers as well um, so you really want to stop it at one by dispelling it with multiple aspers like how I'm doing it right now. These are just the ones that I suggest.
let the sound waves drag you deeper. There is EX. Move it along pretty well. Oof. Tough hit there. So there it got to four and it just exploded and killed him immediately. So that's why you gotta have Dispellers. Ah, uh, this should still work for a while because Chloe's there. Basically, once we get to EX+, Plus, Chloe's gonna die immediately, and uh, Meredith is gonna take over and do all the damage, and that's why I brought her along. She can survive a very long time and continue to heal, and she can also continue to do 31,000 damage at the same time. There's the EX plus. And the next counter attack is going to kill Chloe most likely. She has a shield right now, so might, maybe not right now, but... Oof. go nice the last time I did this uh, it was actually Chloe that went down first and then Chow Yin survived a lot longer so I'm surprised I might actually have a better score with Chloe still being alive right now oh man Meredith needs one more hit, we get the EX++. And that does it right there, actually. Yeah, so Chloe died. Yeah, she can't survive that. So any additional score is just going to be from Meredith. But you guys get the point. Also, with the uh, Ode to Joy, you're getting a damage reduction, too. Like, I think it's 25%, unless they buffed it. Or, I mean, um, nerfed it or buffed it. It was 25. Oh, my gosh. She died real quick. So, that'll help your uh, DPS stay alive just a little bit longer. And Meredith. And that's going to be the end of it. I didn't get as high of a score as last time, but uh, still, EX++, plus plus, um, 2 million 600,000. Got it right there. There's a team. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Hopefully I found out a, a good thing to help you guys without Gaius. That was tough. It took me almost two days to put that together. I was trying everybody else except for that team because I didn't think it would work, but it did. Um, one thing to note just before I end the video is that this might affect that score. I'll try it again without it, but um, yeah. Have a good day, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe if I helped you, and have a good one. Bye-bye.